Who in the gosh golly jillikers are we going to spend time with now? I was going to say today, but now. Honestly, that's a great question. Um, Hard me thinks we should go harass Kyoko, but I think that could also be an awful idea. I think that would probably be an awful idea, but you know what? What? You should spend time with us every day. I love you. You should. I love you. We might make you laugh once in a while. I love you. And then you can come into stream and just be like, hey guys, I found you on YouTube. Make me laugh. I love and you. Then John will say that and you'll laugh. I love you. And it'll be good times. Hi, how are you? Welcome to Couch Bates. Leave this area, bitches. Apparently everyone's downstairs. Oh, are they? Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, at least it's easy for you. Pretty sure she's gonna tell me to f off. Oh wait, are you actually going to go to try and talk to Kyoko? I think she's in here. No, she's not in here. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna push my limits. Take it to the limit. I mean, why wouldn't I? Kyoko's at her limit. I just I understand that she's mad, and like I understand why she's mad. All right. But like she's gorgeous, Fred. Go away. She won't even look at me. I guess she doesn't even want to see my face. Wow. That's what I expected. Shut down. So fast. So, uh, who are we spending time with? We already spent time with Hero. Yes. So let's not spend time with him. Yes. Uh, I don't really want to spend time <laughs> with Toko. Okay, so we've got Hina and Byakia left. Who would you rather spend time with? I would rather spend time with Hina. Have we spent any time with Byakuya? Every single time we've tried, he's like, go away. And we're like, all right, fine. If you want to go spend time with... All right. I'm trying to get all the different skills that I can for the trial. And Oh, like... no, it's, it's Genocide Jill. It's not even... <sighs> okay. We might be back. Let's go check with Byakuya. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. <laughs> Shit. Hold on. That, uh, that that might be that might be kind of fun. I mean, it could be. The others have flocked together as usual. I see, but they need to be careful. Gl growing too close will only cloud their judgment. Judgment. Hmm. Should I talk to Biakia for a while? Because we've spent time with Toko, so we unlocked whatever skill she was going to get. Yeah, but Genocide Jill is a different person. What do you want to do? It's up to you. Like if you if you if you're dead set on Biakia, that's perfectly fine. I'm not really dead set on either one. So who do you want to deal with? I would rather deal. With, I want to know Genocide Jill. I want to okay. know what she says. Okay. I, I truly want to know what she'll talk to us about. Okay, then let's go talk to her. I think that would be more interesting than that douchebag. Look, she's right here. She is right there. She's she's a serial killer. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? You want to go on a murder spree with me? Hmm. Is it really a good idea to hang out with Genocide Jack? Yes. Nope, but let's do it. You want me to kill you or something? You're not even close to getting me heated up. Oh. Wow. Ta, oh, darling. The time I spent with the murderous fiend was almost... Valuable. Did I just get a little closer to Genocide Jack? It's creepy, isn't it? I absolutely want to give her a present. Um, you know what? Maybe she could use some coffee. I mean, like, hype up those kills, the, dude. It could be. How about Make salt? A, maybe faster kills. Salt. Rub it in the wound. I mean, I, I like the way you're thinking. No chips. Hard tack. About the black croissant. Eh. Missed our opportunity. I think we did. Curry, rations, she doesn't really eat. No. Kitten hair clip? I wish she'd have that cute side about her, but no. Um, well, we don't have one of those. Uh, Hope's peak ring? Eh. Blueberry perfume? Eh. But it attracts all the girls. That's true. Uh, God of War charm, Max gloves, she's sick. Roller slippers. That sounds right on brand. And rolling around. <laughs> genocide Jack. Stabbing people. How about a red scarf? Eh. Not pink, not pink enough? Not pink enough. Not pink enough. Leaf covering? Eh. 
Emperor Neko's pants. And if we keep on perfect for Neko's pants. <laughs> Emperor's thong. Hold up. Maybe. 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 Hand bra. Eh. Uh, no. No, no. Shears? You. Hmm. I don't know if they're the right ones, See, though. See, that's like she has her own that's specific thing. ones. That's the thing. And I, I would, don't want to insult her no. by being like, oh, here's some scissors. Here's some skizzers and screwers. Yeah. Uh, chinchilla cover, camera, tumbleweed? Yeah. How about an unending dandelion? That way she can figure out if Biakia loves her back. That's true. He loves me. He, he loves, loves me not. Uh... Let's not give her a weapon. No, she, she, she's fine with her not, or her Cassette. scissors. I have four cassettes? Holy crap. No receiver, pretty pretty hungry caterpillar. Eh. Basketball. Uh, oh, Sura's Tears. A tr jewel treasured by an ancient super race. Even the devil has friends, you fool. And then tears flow. Oh, that should have gone to a yeah. hero, probably. Uh, no. No, no. Uh, the Kokeshi? Yeah, the Kokeshi Dynamo, maybe. I still don't know what the heck this is. Let's switch on the bottom and set the doll shaking. Apparently it's a kid's toy, but I don't really get the point well, of it. Sure, it's a kid's toy. I mean... Sure, it's a kid's toy. I mean... Uh, water flute? Mm. A Jobo doll, small light, engine tour... If facts. All right. I don't have any more arrowheads. So I'm what you thinking, thinking the Kokeshi Dynamo. Okay. Possibly the thong. Okay. Uh, so let's go with the yeah, dynamo. Yeah, let's go with I'm the dynamo. I'm right here. Yep. Oh, wrong thing. That one. Oh my. It's so wonderful. Can I lick it? What? When you get something nice, don't you just... Love to lick it. Or is that just me? I do have the tongue for it, after all. Seeing Genocide Jack so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy, I guess. Really? That's it? We didn't get anything out of that? It's probably on the second hangout. Ding dong, bing bong. Ugh. Ugh. Attention, attention. Please gather in the gym as soon as you possibly can. I'm sorry. Quickly, I thought quickly, it was just quickly, quickly, quickly. I thought this was just going to be the nighttime thing. He made a special announcement to ask us to come to the gym. And he sounded pretty serious about it, too. Okay. We must go to the gym. We must go to the gym. We must talk well, to Sakura first. Looks like. Then go to the gym. Sakura, talk to me, boo. Come on. I don't like this secret thing. You're the last one. Everyone else is already inside. Aren't you gonna go in? Fred. I have a bad feeling about this. Winky. More than just a feeling, probably. Monokuma did call us all together, after all. Fred. Sakura. Makoto. If something happens to me, Hina. You're gonna ask Makoto to watch over Hina? If something happens to me, go talk to Genocide Jack. Huh? I'm sorry. No. Never mind. So then. I... I'm... Who would ever believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? That's mean. <laughs> that's... That's savage. I... Um... I'm just here like, that That just goes right against Makoto right there. Right? Sakura. Okay, then. Um... I I guess we're going to the gym now. And that's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You're screwed. Everyone must have heard the announcement. You don't say. <laughs> and once we were all gathered at the gym, it began. What? 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 Did? Okay. What did? I was not expecting an actual cutscene out of this. I mean, I know he's going to pop out. Yeah. <clears throat> 
It's been a little while since we saw that jump. That's true. So why not, I guess? Okay, let's get this show on the road. You're about to give us a, your next motive presentation, aren't you? Huh? That's right. You got us all together to present another motive, right? Is he right? I mean, Master is always right. We have to go through this again? Oh, uh, no! I, not again! I can't take it anymore! I'm impressed by your level of dismay. You finally see just how low on the totem pole of life you really are. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's not it at all. We're not here to talk about motive. The reason I gathered you all here is so that I could get rid of my grudge. Your grudge? You know, the movie. The scary movie called The Grudge. <laughs> the Japanese version is so much scarier than the Sarah Michelle Gellar version. You know, so I've heard. I, I mean, don't think I've seen either one. It might have been Korean. I don't know, actually, now that I, I said. Know. I don't know, Korean or is Japanese? Huh. We have a grudge against you, of course. But I don't recall you ever having a grudge against us. I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye. A fang for a fang. Stop beating around the bush. Just tell us what you're talking about. Well, Biakia, you've already told everyone how one of you might be working as a spy for me, right? Come on. Yeah, so what about it? Well, today I'd like to tell you about that spy. What? So guess what? The spy is actually Sakura Ugami. He said it so openly, it made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal. Even though he just revealed a huge secret. But is it really useful to him anymore? Yeah, that's the kind of thing. What? What did you just say? He says the spy is Sakura. What are you talking about? The there's no way Sakura's a spy! Right, Sakura? Fred. Sakura? And I might just make Sakura fulfill the promise she made sometime soon. And if she doesn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen to the hostage of mine, to that hostage of mine. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What you guys choose to do with that information is up to you. Roast her, boil her, kill her, don't kill her, whatever. <laughs> anyway, I can't wait. And just like that, he was gone. Finally, I understood what he had been talking about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. In other words, betrayal would be met with betrayal. Betrayal! Um, so what does this mean? Is it true? Has Ogre really been spying on us for the mastermind? What are you saying? There's no way! But that is what the stuffed animal said, right? I mean, be careful you saying that. All of a sudden... Uh, Kyoko on her goddamn high horse is gonna come in and smack you about are you trusting Monokuma over your friends? I mean, I don't blame her. <laughs> also, Toko hasn't been going on about friends. That's true. Only Makoto. And Hina. And Hina. That's true. Well, he's wrong! There's just no way! Well, Sakura, if he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. Holy shit, she was here the whole time? <laughs> Brad, I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. 
What? But then, all our time spent together are magical nights. <laughs> then he's been serious for serious? Ogre's been working for the mastermind? No. Giving all the nitty gritty details? I'm sorry. So, you've been lying to us all this time. It's not true. Sakura was probably being controlled. There's gotta be some, some reason. She didn't have a choice. She was just forced to do it. Yeah, I'm sure Hina's right. The mastermind probably threatened her somehow and Sakura had no choice but to do what she was told. What? You're talking like you know that for a fact. Because I do know it for a fact. Because I saw it. Kia! I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting. And that's where I heard it. Monokuma mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during their fight, I heard Sakura say she decided to fight against the mastermind. You saw that. The mastermind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But in the end, you made up your mind to betray the mastermind. Guys, I don't like thoughts. They're hard to deal with. <laughs> Which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who we can trust without question. Is that it? Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of alternate reality fairy tale? She was the mastermind's tool. You absolutely cannot trust someone like that. He's right. We can't just believe whatever she's saying now. How can we even be sure she really did betray the mastermind? Maybe this is a double bluff and she's still doing exactly what the mastermind wants. Sakura would never do that. Okay, then Sakura, if you really have cut ties with the mastermind, tell us who they really are. Well, sorry, I can't. Even I don't know that. You don't know? That just makes you all the more suspicious. She's telling the truth. You have to believe her. Shut up. I'm not finished questioning her. All of a sudden, Toko's like, <laughs> Right? Because Master said shut up. And it wasn't to me. Next question. What's this about a promise? What does the mastermind order you to do? Fred, I was told to kill one of my friends. It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room had dropped 20 degrees. The weight of those words. I see. So even now you've taken aim on our lives. You're wrong! I'm telling you, Sakura would never do that! You don't have to yell! We can hear you just <laughs> fine! Don't you have an inside voice? <laughs> it's because you're not listening to me! Please, stop. You don't need to defend me anymore. I have to take full responsibility for this. How do you intend to do that? By destroying the mastermind. Wink. What? I'm going to challenge them. 
Even if it means we both go down, I will defeat them. That is how I intend to take responsibility. Hold on. What do you mean if you both go down? Hina, I'm sorry to tell you about this, but I'm I'm going... Sorry. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this, but I'm going down, down in an early round. Sugar, we're going down. Swinging! What? I didn't know what to do. We went back and forth. I went. I went back and forth about confiding in you again and again. But I was scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. Sakura! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I must be going now. For I am the night! <laughs> and soon the night becomes the day, which means the night dies. So I'm probably going to die. Wow. Sakura turned away from us and left the gym. And then... Ding. Dong. Bing. Bong. Let's do this. <coughs> oh, this is a school announcement and it is 10 p.m. As such, it's officially nighttime. Soon the doors of the dining hall will be locked. No donuts for you, Bappy McGee. What? And entry to at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay. Okay, then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the lasers get you in the butt. Wow. Somehow we got there. Well, it's night time. We should all go to bed. Hold on. This whole thing with Sakura is over. She's our enemy. There's nothing more to discuss. No, Sakura is not our enemy. Fred, why? Why doesn't anyone understand her? What is it you think you understand? You didn't even know who she really was. That's... Let it go for now, Hina. Talking about it isn't going to help anything. What? Go to your room, cool down, and we can continue this discussion tomorrow. Mommy power. Fred! Fine, Mom! It was the worst. The mood at the end of the night was just the worst. Being in such an awful mood, we were honestly glad the day was over. Or at least I was. I don't know about everybody else. They might have been excited to... They might have been upset. Sakura is the spy. She's the traitor. Fred. Byakia said Sakura is the enemy, but he's wrong. She's not my enemy. She's my friend, without a doubt. But it is the ultimate betrayal. But what can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? How? How does this work? So I got a crab, a baby, a race car, some scissors, gun, and uh, a big booby lady behind me, a bappy lady on the calendar. As long as you're human, there will always come a point where you wish you could do different things. Things differently. You could do things differently. Even a baseball player in the major leagues, even a soccer player touring Europe, even a famous singer who started her career as a backup dancer on a sketchy comedy show. On a what? <laughs> sketch comedy show. <laughs> could have been sketchy, I don't know. It could have been sketchy. She made a brilliant debut, but instead of going for more, she marries some third-rate actor and retires. Every hum- human has regrets, has things they'd like to go back and change. But I don't, because I'm a bear. Yeah, that's fair. Well, that didn't add anything to the story. Ding dong. Bing bong. I mean, none of them do. That's true. <laughs> They're just there to be little vignettes. Good, Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime. It's officially over. Go stuff your face full of donuts. Time to rise and shine. Get ready for another beautiful day.
Although, honestly, if the Monokuma Theater actually adds things to the story, please let us know. Because I definitely don't get it. Yeah, I'm with you. I think it just kind of, it ends the day and just, but I, I feel like it's actually, it might be adding something to at least Monokuma's story. I don't know. Possibly. I can't tell. I'm worried about Sakura. I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. Well, let's go ahead and leave the area then. Anyone out here? No? <laughs> Kyoko? Oh, there she is. Are you in? Oh, she's over there. Oh, God. Are we going to do it? Hey. Kyoko? Kyoko? Okay. Let me get to the middle. Let's check all the corners. Gotta check my six. Kyoko! Hey, mommy. <laughs> Kyoko! Good morning. Red. Still ignoring me. Is she really that mad at me? But actually, it's not just Kyoko. Ever since Monokuma summoned us last night, the atmosphere around here has gotten really heavy. Dude, you were asleep and she was the first one that you talked to. What are you talking about? I can almost feel it looming over us, weighing us down. <sighs> well, if nothing else, I need to patch things up with Kyoko as soon as possible. Zoom time. Ooh. It's one of those times. I need to stop and sneeze. Oh, let's see who's here today. Ah, oh, Makoto! Are you okay? Huh? What do you mean? You are late, so we were worried about you. What a dullard. Toko Byakia! What are you doing here? What the heck? There! Taking refuge here, or as Numbnuts over here said, taking refuge. <laughs> refuge. Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the masterminds tool. The masterminds? Are you talking about Sakura? Right. That's when I finally noticed. The only one that wasn't in the dining hall was Sakura. There aren't that many of us left. There's only one, two, three, four, five, eight of us left. Nice. I can count. Huh? Where is Sakura? Stop talking. All I know is if she were here, I wouldn't be. Why? She can't kill you in front of everyone. That's my thoughts. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you was as a safeguard against that threat. The threat? Why? Why do you hate her so much? Uh, he hates everyone yeah, equally. Yeah, he, you know, he hates everyone equally. He's an equal opportunity hater. Isn't it obvious? Because this makes things unfair. Unfair? The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a spy for the mastermind upsets that balance. That's a stupid reason. Stupid? This is a life or death game. Is it not? It is stupid! You're a stupid idiot! Idiot! Before you get too far into your argument, maybe you should stop and think, think things through. Why did the mastermind reveal that Sakura was the spy to us? They were getting revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye! That may be part of it, but it's not the whole picture. Revealing that fact was also meant to serve as the next motive the Mastermind wanted to give us. The chaos and confusion born from that suspicion. The hatred. 
In other words, this right here, the fighting, the bickering, is the trap the mastermind laid for us. Dum, dum, dum. Knowing that, will you still stand there and argue like children? That's not what I'm trying to do. It's just... I mean, how can I get you guys to believe in Sakura again? If she really can beat the mastermind like she said, that'd go a long way in my mind. <laughs> Idiot! You'd really ask her to do something so dangerous? What if something terrible happens to her? It wouldn't matter. What? If Sakura were to die, that's one less person for the mastermind to control. I have no problem with that. Hold on, Biakia! In fact, if she did die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? It would put the whole problem to rest. Slap. Slayo? <laughs> what the hell? No, that's Biakia. What the hell? You disgust me! Sorry, it could have gone either way, That's honestly. True. You're, you're, a you're, you're a monster! To like say that? something like that! It should have been you! It should've been you should have been the one to die! What? I should have died? Interesting. Then, are you planning to take care of that? Yourself. Go ahead. Try it if you dare. That's how it works here, after all. You think I can't do it? Hina, calm down. That's right. This is exactly what the mastermind wants, and it's exactly what Sakura doesn't want. Fred! What's wrong? Lost your nerve? Fred! I'm leaving! I'll be in my room! Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. That stupid cow! How dare she! She should die a thousand deaths! No! A million! I'll wring her neck with my tiny hands! <laughs> so, she was just another hysterical little girl. Hardly worth my attention. Just a second. It's what other people call having feelings. Talk Yakia. to me about those, Kyoko. <laughs> and all you do is mock them for it, including me. The times that I show feelings. Like right now, can't you tell that I'm angry with you? What's wrong with that? A friendly word of warning. Someday that attitude is going to come back and bite you hard. I don't have time to play. And I will happily elude its attempts. So, um, you know. How about, uh, oh, eat? Yeah, I don't blame him for that. <laughs> I, I, uh, maybe now's not a good time? It's hard to say. Oh, uh, yeah, this is weird. Weird stuff is happening. Without a word, each of us left the dining hall. We headed back to our rooms one by one. Because who wants to stay there? Whew. Fred. So what should I do today? Oh my god, there's more talking. All right. <laughs> Free time! John didn't believe me. In between episodes, I was just like, you know what? There's probably like two days of free, all time. Of, of free time. Yeah. All right. No, that's fine. We can go talk to people. I have to find them first. Um, okay. I don't think Kyoko is going to talk to us. Um, I guess we could go see if Genocide Jack is doing anything. 
Either that, or we can go hang out with Hina or Sakura. Either one works. Yeah. What you think? Let's go with Sakura. Let's see what happens. That that's interesting. Like we know where she's at. She's at the chem lab. I know. I just sometimes lose track of how to get there. Yeah. Not chem lab. This is the chem lab right there? To the right? Or is that the... <laughs> yep, there yes. it is. Okay. You have to be at just the right angle to see all this stuff. Is she going to talk to us? I don't know. She might not. Let's find out. I'm not sure I'm ready to open up just yet. Maybe if you create the right opportunity. <laughs> what? Hmm, should I hang out with Sakura for a while? I mean, might as well. Might as well. Even if I don't feel like talking. Well, I'm committed now. You'll still stand by me. Sure. I still don't understand you, Makoto. You're not supposed to. Nobody does. Without saying a word, I stood by Sakura for at least 10 minutes. I tried to hold her hand and she slapped it away. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Uh, yeah, I want to give her a present. Let's see. Um, I don't think she would like just coffee. It's not protein coffee. I mean, she might like... We got those Azura tears, right? That would be her, you think? I think so. I think we could do that one. Or a kitten hair clip. She might like that. But I think the, the Azura tears. But now I want to give her the hair, cl hair clip. Right. <laughs> Uh, I think it was down this way somewhere. I'm just trying to remember where. Uh, okay. where, where's the thing? Asura's Tears. Asura's Tears, yeah. Do you think this one? Probably. You really want to give me something so splendid? <laughs> Look, I have like four of them. Fred, you know, I'm not quite sure why, but somehow you remind me of... Him. Him? Sorry, forget I said that. I'm just talking to myself. Anyway, I feel a little better now. Thank you. Aww. Seeing Sakura so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. I didn't get anything? <sighs> okay. Um, where is everyone this afternoon? Downstairs. There's Byakuya, Ina and Sakura. I could see if Toko is back to being... <laughs> you know what? Let's, let's go see if Toko is back to being Genocide Jack and see if we can get anything else out of her. It sounds as good as anything else, right? I mean... Is she still guarding? Yep. Oh, God, it's Toko. Oh, it's That's Toko. a no. Oh, <laughs> uh, hey, Toko. You know what? Let's not. No. Uh, should we try Kyoko, see if we can explain things to her? Sure, why not? All we're going to find out is, no, go leave away. me alone, go yeah. away. Let's go see. I mean, that's probably what'll happen. Oh, God, she's over here. Jesus. Now. Okay. Right next to the bath doors. Fred, go away. Don't even look. Okay. Uh, so who do you want to spend time with? We've, we're down to Hina. Hina. Or Byakuya. John's just instantly like, Hina. Please just please, go, go to Hina. Please, for the love of God, Hina. Hopefully we haven't maxed out her stuff and we get something. Good God. Sorry, Sakura, you are amazing, but let's go do this. Listen, I'm really sorry, but I kind of want to be alone right now. I've got a lot I need to think about. Oh! Oh. <sighs> Okay. All right. Thanks. Hey, okay, Hannah. I uh, I wasn't expecting that. No. God, are we actually it's gonna just... talk to Biakia? Yeah. All right. Go see. He'll probably tell us to fret off too. Oh, okay, Biakia. You got anything? Sakura and Ina. Finally, some action. Nice. Oh. Ha, ha, ha. Oh my god. <laughs> Things are starting to become interesting. 
Huh? Oh. I didn't see you standing there. Did you need something? Should I talk to Biakio for a while? Sure. Fine. I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. Damn, dog. I hope you appreciate this. Look, I'll give you a gift at the end of this. Just don't be a douche. Shut your damn pie hole. Biaki and I grew a little closer today. Yeah, let's... Uh, what's he want? Coffee? You might like coffee. Uh, the black croissant? It's the color of his soul. Uh, would he like the kitten hairpin? Nah. What about Trineco's pants? I don't know if he would like Trineco's pants. <laughs> Uh, the leaf covering? It's nice and manly. <laughs> uh, what you think? Either the coffee? What's the... There's a weird one. I remember a weird one. Oh, there's on. a lot of There's a lot ones. of weird ones, but one... We're just like... Maybe that one. Yeah, I can see him like being... Like, he would... Yeah. Yeah. The seven important mathematical problems were posed by the Clay Mathematics Institute with a reward of one million dollars for each one solved. Yeah, let's uh, just indulge his wealth. Now this is a rare moment. Coming from a noble family, I've never been exposed to such vulgarity. Interesting. I think I'll keep it. Seeing Byakuya so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. Cried. I have a question for you. Huh? You do? Something's been bothering me for a while now, and I can't take it anymore. So, to answer my question, I need you to explain to me what exactly your ultimate lucky student title means oh well right place right time bitch i don't totally get it myself but what i do know is that i was picked at random from a pool of normal students so you just got into a speak by pure blind luck i see well, that answers my question. What was the question? How a commoner like you, with absolutely no unique talents or abilities, could get into this school? Wow. Oh, I forgot to mention boring. How a boring, <laughs> untalented, utterly generic commoner got in. Boring? Generic? Did you really have to list it all off like that? But it's the truth. Maybe, compared to you, the ultimate affluent progeny and all. But even I... You seem to think it's merely an issue of title. But make no mistake. My lineage, intelligence... Figure, athletic ability, they are all ultimate. Athletic ability? Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Like, what athletic really? ability? Biakia? Biakia, we get a strong enough wind. You're going down, man. I mean, you might be a fencer and nothing against fencing. Yeah. But, and which is an athletic ability. It I, is. I get that, but. It is. Which is to say, I'm the ultimate perfection. Feel free to begin calling me that, in fact. Je suis l'homme parfait. The perfect man. Yeah, how about I don't? He's really taking this to the extreme. You who have nothing. I who have everything, including good looks. We are living proof that all men are not created equal. No, not all men are made equal. Yeah. Through the course of life. You have my pity, Makoto. Life can be very cruel indeed. Good. 
and because I pity you so, so much, perhaps someday I'll allow you to hear my tale of glory. Consider it a blessing, a gift from me to you, to allow me, to allow you to bask in my glory. Having finished his mean-spirited lecture, Biakia left me standing there in silence. I learned one thing to about Yakia today. Any team, any time I talk to him, I need to be prepared for extreme psychological trauma. What have we learned today? Bianca's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. You just unlocked the skill cool and composed. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Well, I was going to say, let's never talk to him again, but uh, well, shit, he actually At gave us something. At least we got something. I did my best to keep my spirit from shattering like glass and went back to my room. Yeah, at that point, it's just one of those. He's going to be a douche no matter what. Yeah. It's your Ding choice. Dong. It's your choice whether you fight it or just take it and walk the fret away. Ding dong. Bing bong. My suggestion, walk away from him. Stab Makoto, him in the dick. Makoto stuck around for way too long. Oh, this is school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. You know how this works. Nighttime and all that crap. Doors are locking. Just just go to bed. Just bed bugs in your bed and go to bed. That's all. Nighttime already. Tonight feels somehow uneasy. We still haven't settled things with Sakura. Everyone's in a terrible mood. I just hope Nothing happens tonight. And they never saw him again. Which him? I was going to say. Yakia or, Mo or Makoto. 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 After I declined the offer to become a shrimp, the tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. Once the shrimp idea was dead, she came back suggesting I should become a crab instead. Okay. How much can one person love crustaceans? A lot. I said no, of course, but she shot back. Okay, then how about we make you extra special? You can be a crab that walks side, sideways and backwards and screams at everyone. Don't have to go forward. Just backward. But how's that any better? I don't want to go sideways or backwards. I want to go forward. There we go. I heard her annoyed sigh on the other end of the line. Then she said, You just don't see the splendor of the crab. Haven't you ever heard of the tale of the crab and the monkey? Sounds vaguely familiar, but I have no idea. Of course I heard it. I know all about it, but so what? The crab beats the monkey, but it's just some legend, hardly relevant to our greed-obsessed modern society. Is it really not though? Sure, monkeys still show up in movies and stuff from time to time, but not crabs. Crabs show up in entire games. I mean, there's a crab fight game, and then just... Like, everything become crab. Everything everything is crab, and you know, I just, I get it, but it's just, it's not for me. And then I get this crab walking around me just screaming, just screaming, eat at Arby's, eat at Arby's, eat at Arby's. And I'm like, I don't want to eat at Arby's. It freaks me out. I don't think it's true meat. Monkey themed clothes Ow. are sweeping the fashion world. But the crab do doesn't stand a chance, right? I think you're wrong there. What I'm saying is, crabs have no place in today's light speed world. Make sure to get checked. Do your market research, lady. Wow. Which is why I chose the always popular bear image. Right. And that's the secret origin of Monokuma. Bing bong, ding dong. <laughs> Bing bong. Let's see. Good, Good morning, everyone. It's 7 a.m. and it's officially over. Rise and shine. Good, but it's another beautiful day. I need to do something about Sakura. I'd better go to the dining hall and talk to the others about it one more time. Sure. To the dining hall we go. 
Let's go out here. Whoa! Huh? Was that someone screaming? I think it came from the dining hall. Ah! There we go. So they were trying to go fast. Oh, Makoto, we have a big problem, man. What's wrong? L look. Hero's finger shook as he pointed. No! Hina! Ugh. Are you okay? What happened? She killed her! Genocide Jill! Oh, that's you. Oh, sorry. Well, yeah, I was like, wait, what? Genocide Jill killed Hina! My bad. No, no, no! She's not dead! Open your eyes! No way she's dead! Trust me, there's not enough blood. Why? What happened? Well, Toko and Hina, just all of a sudden they were yelling and then they knocked the pepper off the table. Right. And that led to a sneeze. Her giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? I might be flat, but at least mine are real! And look at my shapely collarbone! Doesn't it just totally set you on fire? I don't think... Collarbone's not my thing. I'm sure I'm sure it's someone. No king shaming. Shut up. No king shaming. You but... don't know anything. My collarbone is amazing. You can't get this bone structure just anywhere. <laughs> I mean, I get it. I'm not saying it's not a bad thing. It's just, it just doesn't do it Look for me. Look at how angular my shoulders are. That's thanks to my amazing collarbone. All right, all right, all right. All right. I, I follow the logic. Just Anyway, all right. you totally non-adorable boys, just get her out of my sight, okay? Or else I'll start cutting and cutting and cutting and indulging myself for who knows how long. Okay, then. Let's get Hina to the nurse's office. Mon, Hero, help me. Uh, sure thing. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Genocide Jack's abrasive laugh chased us out of the room as we carried Hina away. Hopefully somebody knows about first aid, because God knows I know nothing. True. By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injury, it was starting to look worse. In the nurse's office, she seemed to have finally regained her composure. Thank you. Are you sure you're feeling... Sorry, sorry. Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah... It really was just a scratch. But still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you'd be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know. You'd have gotten in between it and stopped her. Yes, well, a thousand thank yous to you, sir. So sarcastic. That just makes you sound even more hostile. Okay... But man, I couldn't believe it. I was positive I was about to see someone's life come to an end. If I ever saw something like that, I'd never be able to sleep again, which would suck. I love sleep. You know what, that's fair. Yeah, never mind the person who actually died, right? Not this game wrong, really Makoto. does get weirder and weirder. It does. The like, the later into the game, it's just like, what? Hey... Hina, what the heck happened? Oh, um, we just got into a fight and I lost my tender temper and flew off the handle. Let me guess, the fight was because of Sakura. What? At first, I just tried to ignore it. 
If you let jerk buttholes get to you all the time, you'll never have time left to live your life. Gotta watch you know out what? for this jerk buttholes. But let's be honest, it's good advice. It is great advice. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just... Without thinking about it, it felt like I wanted to punch her a dozen times. The same amount of times donuts have, like... One punch for every donut hole in a dozen donuts. Holes come separately. A dozen punches isn't really without thinking. But he ran into my knife. He ran into my knife 12, 10 times. <laughs> and when things got out of hand, Genocide Jack got let loose, right? Oh, that was Makoto, I think. Oh, oh well. sorry. Oh, that's not really was matter. it? Yeah, it was. it was. My bad. It's my own fault, but I just couldn't take it anymore. Because, because I love Sakura. She's the only one that I want in my life. Because she was saying all these terrible things about my friend, you know? Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started welling up with tears. And just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the door to the nurse's office burst open. I thought the door was going to fly off its hinges. And there she stood before us. Hina. Sakura! You're hurt. What happened? Oh, nothing. It's not a big deal. Makoto, Hiro, what's the meaning of this? Uh, it wasn't me. It was Genocide Jill. It's all that, de uh, it's all that demented murder's fiend's fault. Ugh. Dart, Hina, damn you! To leave me alone, but hurt her. Yeah, that's because you weren't there. What is this? What is this? Oh! oh God, I'm okay. Really, it's just a scratch. Unforgivable. In every way. I can't forgive them. Ah! He really doesn't handle confrontation well. Hero, if you want someone to hate, if you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. How? I, I don't hate you exactly. Why? <laughs> Somebody save me! Yeah, it's probably best that he just ran away. Hero nearly tripped over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office. But just a second later... What's going on? What's all this noise about? Why is, why is Hero screaming like a small child? Kyoko stood in the doorway of the nurse's office, taking Hero's spot in the room. I gather that something happened. Smart as a whip, that one. <laughs> Kyoko, please. You have to stop Sakura. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. Are you? I'm not going to do anything. I just... I'm drawing a line. Right here and now. Drawing a line? Goodbye. But she doesn't have a marker. Where will it go? There's no sand either. I don't understand. What is she gonna draw with? Wait, Sakura! Hina sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura. The only ones left were... Fred. Fred! Are we gonna make can, amends? Can we talk? Can we talk? Um, Kyoko! Red. Are you still mad? Red. Yeah. We figured. That's fine. It's fine. Huh? About that issue we discussed earlier. It doesn't matter anymore. Then, do you forgive me for not being able 
to talk about it. You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. You were only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse everyone until you could talk to her and be sure of what you saw. That's what you were thinking, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah. What are you, a witch? How'd you get into my head? To think like that. I'm a little psychic, but better than hero. I wouldn't have expected such arrogance from you. What? Because ultimately, that means you don't trust me. Oh my god! I mean, she kind of has a point. But... Yeah, she's taking yeah, it to a little, little too whole far. new levels. Yoko, come on. No, that's not it. But if that's how you feel, I, I can't really change your mind. I'm sorry. It's fine. I've already forgotten about it. Besides, I may have overreacted. Oh, is she blushing? Aww. Huh? You're so gorgeous when you blush. Anyway, it's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Okay. Thank you. We made up with mommy. Weird. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Anything else? Okay. Oh, oh. dang. Oh, wait, there was something. My else. bad. I need to talk to you about something else. What is it you wanted to talk to me about? Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. Where? Oh, where do you want us to go, Kyoko? What kind of business? Is it like kissing business? Kissing business? <laughs> is it, can we hold hands? Well, we go there. Just like the ultimate puppy love. Yeah. Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess, but... Shall we go? Well then, shall we get going? With her typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, setting a brisk pace. God, I love watching her leave. Ah, uh, Kyoko! I hurried to catch, it, to catch up to her. Trying to grab her hand. No, he's not that pushy. That's true. He just wanted to smell her perfume. <laughs> <laughs> she walked ahead in silence. And in silence, I chased her, smelling the air as best I could. And eventually, we arrived. Her lavender perfume was amazing. The dressing room. So... The something else you mentioned. Indeed. That's right. It has to do with alter ego. Or maybe I just want to kiss you where there's no cameras. Oh. But you said we didn't need alter ego anymore. Wrong. I didn't say we didn't need him. I just said he had done his job. Besides, it's not us that needs alter ego. He has some business with us. Huh? Alter Ego asked me to bring others to come see him. Apparently, he has something he wants to ask us. Alter Ego wants to ask us something? Right. Oh. I guess we should ask it next time. Sounds good to me. Oh. Bye. Bye. Kyoko, I can't wait. Till we get out of here, then I can see your beautiful, sometimes purple hair in the moonlight. I really thought you were going to say, and I can't wait to get out of here so I can have your babies. <laughs> <laughs> and I was going to go, whoa, oh, that's fair. I want to have your babies get serious like crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>